So this is the preterite tense, which is one of the past tenses in Spanish. As you can see here, it's used to describe actions which are completed in the past, not ongoing, generally have a time limit to them as well, like I ate, I danced, I played, etc. So the preterito, as we said, I ate, I did, I played, some examples in English. So remember, in, in Spanish, we have three sorts of infinitives, A, R, E, and I, R, and they mean, in English, to something like to do, to play, to eat, to dance. But in Spanish, they always have these three endings on the end. <clears throat> so what do we do? We take the infinitive, and then we remove the A, R, E, and I, R off the end to become a stem. So the stem is always the same for every person, A, R, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And then, for the I form, <coughs> we take the AR off and add an E accent, E. ER and I are off, add an I accent, E. The U form, AR off, add ASTE. E or I are off, add ISTE. And so on. He, she, and it, O, and IO. We, amos, and imos, and in fact, if you know amos in the present tense, is exactly the same in this past tense as well. You, plural, asteis, and isteis, and they, aron, and ieron. Okay, so let's take an example. So, comer, to eat, in the infinitive, because it's got an er in the end. We remove the er to become our stem. So how do we form I ate? So, I look at Come here, take the ER off, I've left with com. It's an ER verb, so I look at this list here and add an I for the I form. So we have comi. Next one, hablar, which is to talk or speak. Remove the AR to get our stem. And now we want to form they talked. So I've got my stem, habl, with no AR on the end. The they is aron, so I add aron on the end. And it becomes hablaron, they talked. Okay, so let's have a little practice. So these are ones I want you to put into Spanish. Use a dictionary if you need to. Make sure you've got your notes out in front of you as well so you can do them. Otherwise you'll find it very difficult. And then pause this video, have a go, and then replay the video so that you can get the answers. So number one, let's have a look now. Number one, visite. I, I ending here. Number two, they bimos, we ending here. They played, jugaron, she lived, vivió, he lived is the same ending as well. You tried, intentaste, could have had trataste de as well if you put that one instead. They danced, bailaron, and salir, which is the verb to go out, salí. Okay. If you're not sure of any of these endings, have a look back at your grid. Have a look at your verbs that you had originally. Remember, you take the A, R, E, R, and I off to form the stem, and then you add the endings according to what person you're using. Okay, next bit. Unfortunately, there are quite a few irregular ones, but here are some useful ones. One thing to note about this is that there aren't any accents at all on all irregular ones. And these two will save you a little bit of time. Is ir and ser are exactly the same for each person. So remember they go in the same order. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, plural, and they. So it goes fui, fuiste, fue. Notice the difference. E here, e here. Fui, fuiste, fue. Fuimos, fuisteis, fueron. Exactly the same for ser. Hacer, another useful one to have, to do or to make. Ice, hiciste. Slight spelling change here, ethel, which we use for weather quite a lot as well. Ethimos, ethisteis, ethieron. And then tener, I haven't put what it means, to have. Tuve, tuviste, tuvo, tuvimos, tuvisteis, tuvieron. Another useful one to have. Okay, that's the end.